It's the final day of campaigning in the lead up to Myanmar's historic general election on Sunday. King Maung Thein is the sole Muslim candidate in the central city of Mandalay. I set up this party because even if there are many Muslim supporters for the NLD, there are not any Muslim candidates. I'm ashamed for my people. So I must run for the dignity of the Muslim people. At this Buddhist monastery in Mandalay, monk Wirathu, the figurehead of hardline nationalist group known as Mabatha, has been stirring anti-Muslim sentiment. On these streets last year, clashes broke out between Buddhists and Muslims, leaving two people dead and a community on high alert. There's no real reason for this rioting. It was just an internal family problem, but they spread the wrong news around about the Muslim community. Neither Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy or the military-backed United Solidarity and Development Party are fielding any Muslim candidates this year. The parties fear alienating voters swept up by anti-Muslim feeling that has been heightened by communal violence, particularly in the country's west, where hundreds of thousands of Rohingya Muslims are not allowed to vote. Election monitor and former student activist Ni Ni Jo says that religion is being used as a political tool to undermine the country's fragile transition to democracy. Our politicians create this situation so people start to become afraid of Muslim people, but actually the Muslim people are now afraid of everyone else. Nevertheless, he says hopes for the new democratic Myanmar are drowning out sectarian voices. King Mount Thane is not expected to win too many votes on Sunday, but for he and his United National Congress Party followers, it's important that there is still a Muslim voice during this historic moment in Myanmar. Daniel de Cartere for VOA, Mandalay, Myanmar.